Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to another episode of Hellion. And yes, I am back with the game. I apologize for those that were following the series. Uh, the decay mechanic was a little aggressive, and it kind of put me off on the game for a little while. It was kind of pointless me coming in to put, do two hours of work to come in the next day to find out that I had to do the same two hours of work again. Uh, but we are now in the Kessler update, and there has been quite a few different changes to the game. Uh, as you can see, there's no power to the modules right now. They have reworked the power network. They have uh, reworked the whole part mechanic now. The part machines like the uh, life support and power generators and all that stuff don't actually need parts to function. It's more of uh, like performance upgrades now. You can tell I haven't played this in a while. Uh, I was a little sketchy about actually pl playing this again because I was a, I knew about the decay mechanic and the debris fields are coming out. And yes, they did re rework the whole interfaces here. Uh, tells you what parts they have for the actual upgrades. So it took me a little while to figure out, uh, but we are definitely doing good here. Uh, this is what confused me when I first saw this panel. I started thinking, well, oh, great, it's not going to work anymore. But you mouse over and it says to insert the parts to improve everything. So we can go ahead and actually turn this stuff on. So that is not a problem. Uh, one of the big problems with this new update and this Custler update, if you're fairly new to this, is we have uh, meteorites now. And uh, we're going to go step outside. I want to get to make sure the ship's up and running first because I'm going to try to move the station out of the debris field before we start to do anything. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted this door. Yes, I know what I'm doing. At least I make it look that way. But uh, from what I've seen with the debris fields, it's not like it's not like a huge ring of debris that's around the planets or sphere. It's actually like st set rings, almost like the, the asteroid fields. I'm just going to run over this derelict here quickly and see what kind of parts we can find. So it's not like you're always in the path. Uh, one of the things I was saying before was about the decay mechanic. And it was at the point where basically modules went from 100% to 0% in a matter of, you know, 7 or 8 days. So that kind of ruined it for me, but it's been changed now. So now it's basically... 28 days, which with the way the server wipes go, basically means you really don't have to do any upkeep if you don't really don't want to because we're at monthly wipes unless that's been changed again. And I don't know why I'm trying to grab that stuff. Worry about that later. All right now, all I want to do is just get out of the deb debris field so I'm not doing any more maintenance than I have to. Yeah, let's just see what else we can find around here. Uh, I'm actually curious to see what kind of decals they have on the ships now, because I know you can have decals on the ships that go with uh, the ship name. I have seen a couple of them, but not too many. Uh, what would be nice is if they actually implemented a way to be able to import your own. For instance, let's say you upload, uh, upload an image to Steam, and it allows you to use that as your ship's logo. There wasn't much on here, or I'm, or I'm missing stuff, I don't know. But anyways, let's head off to the mule. I haven't thought of the of a name for it yet. I've been thinking about trying to let the Black Pearl sail high in the seven seas. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to go get the ship ready, and then we'll move the outpost somewhere else. Get it out of the debris field. And then we can come find another airlock. Um, one of the things we were talking about too was uh, modules now have uh, turret spots outside now. I have seen the inside of a straight corridor and they actually have turret spots in them now. Um, solar panels, they don't use servo motors anymore, they use catalysts and again just like all the other, other machines and systems in the game. Uh, it's just an upgrade so it's not like you need the servo motor so it's in a way, it does make your station a little safer because you don't have to worry about somebody going and st just completely disabling your life support system or your any part of your system by stealing your parts. It just sort of cripples it a little bit. But anyways, I'll bring you back once I'm inside. 
Okay, here we are inside now. So now I just gotta turn the power on. So we do actually technically have a fusion reactor. I keep thinking to push this button, but it's over here. We hit it. Uh, it's confusing because they have everything redded out, but these are, like I said, just performance upgrades. So we'll get the solar panel, get the fusion reactor up and running. Go ahead and turn the life support on. Uh, turn on. Turn on. Come on. There we go. All right. We are up and running. And as you can see, yes, we are in a debris field, so you get the occasional shaking of the ship, but no sounds with it. Take a quick look down the cargo bay, see if we get any spare parts down there. And I highly doubt it, but you never know. Not that it matters, because again, they're just all upgrades anyways now. Oh, and I see a fire, and I don't know what just flew by there. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Well, this kind of does me no good because I don't have a fire extinguisher on the ship, so I'm just going to have to depressurize the cargo bay, I guess. Which is no problem. I can uh, put my helmet down. We'll close this. Let's see if I can get over here without getting burned. And we'll just depressurize the cargo bay. And while that's doing that, go over here and get the repair tool which should have fuel in it perfect and then we can go ahead and put this fire out or this fix up this hole that way there'll be no fire left see I learned better from last time all right so that should be it No more fire. That's coming from the warp drive room, apparently. Uh, I don't think we have a fire hazard anymore, do we? Uh, no, we seem to be good. Alright. Off to the next hole. That one's going to be in the warp drive room, because that's where it always is. Just want to make sure we get no more fire in here. We are good. Alright, off to the next problem. And the air quality is garbage. Alright. Go and make this quick. Before we get pummeled to death by all this garbage. And we are fine in here. So, I don't know where the other sparking was coming from. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to make sure we got all this set up. Let's go ahead and name our ship. Claim that. Oh, let's call it the Lab Rat. Why not? We haven't had a Lab Rat in a while. Lab Rat, Ship Emblem. No, we're not going to go with Kitty. But, I think we might go with Bouncing Betty. Let's quickly scan through here, see if we got anything that seems interesting. No, it's going to be Bouncing Betty. Alright. We are good to go. So, uh, we checked that out. So, yes, time to dump the crew quarter. So, everything is good to go here. Awesome. I'm going to go and uh, get everything disconnected. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll bring you back when we're in our new orbit. You know what I was thinking about? I think I'm going to take my crew quarter with me. I was thinking about it now because technically that's my home station right now. So if I take that and I come back for the lifeboat, then at least I'll be able to find my home station instead of being out in the middle of nowhere and finding my home station and finding out it's, you know, back where I originally started. So anyways, I am going to go and get all this disconnected. And I shall bring you back when I'm ready to take the first module out and we'll get our orbit set up. Alright, I kind of jumped ahead a little bit here. I already got ourselves a nice little orbiter between Burner and Broken Marble. This time I made sure I'm not going through the asteroid belt like I did last time. I was between Everest and Broken Marble for some reason. And apparently my station was going right through the belt. But we will not worry about that. It's nice to see that you can actually see the debris fields on the actual map itself. 
But anyways, that is going to be our home station. I'm hoping that the crew quarter is still my home station. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this and head back down to the mainstream and get my outpost to wherever it may be. And I have absolutely no idea where it is now. So I shall see you then. Well, this has been quite the wild goose chase. I've been all over Beth or Wiss an entire warp cell trying to find my outpost. I finally found it. I had to go back through my previous recording to find out when I first went out of the airlock to see the the derelict that was close by. So I have found it and I am coming in close. And I'm of course in the middle of a debris field. And I thought that if you warp through this stuff that you actually destroyed your ship. But surprisingly I'm still at a fairly good health. I love watching this stuff fly by though. It really gives that total immersion. But anyways, I am back here. Uh, I am going to go and do uh, grapple to my outpost here. And then I think we're going to prop... Uh, I think I'm down to my last warp cell. I think we're going to take a trip, quick trip out to Broken Marble and do a little bit of looting. So I will bring you back when <laughs> we're in Broken Marble. Okay, we're out in Broken Marble right now. I'm actually on my way to a group of three derelicts, and I'm hoping I can find at least one warp cell because this is my last jump. I think I'm down to like 5% in one cell, which isn't going to get me anywhere, so I need to find some derelicts quick. I've uh, gone through so much debris, but it's only taken about 3% off the ship, so we should be okay. My biggest concern, though, is the outpost. Because <laughs> when I went to go grapple it, I made my maneuver to come out to here, and I turned, not realizing I had the airlock behind me, and I sent that airlock a spinning. There were sparks flying, the whole ship was shaking, and everything. So there we go, we have three derelicts which is good and hopefully I still have a hopefully I still have my outpost behind me so I am gonna head my way on in and I'll bring you back when I'm heading out the airlock okay here we go uh, it wasn't giving me the part the option to match velocity so I gotta be sorta quick about this uh, that's one thing I noticed too is they now have these little uh, indicating icons. You mouse over them and it tells you exactly what they are, so it definitely makes things easier when trying to see things when it's pitch black out. So, let's see what we find here. I don't can't remember if we can get in this door or not. Oh! You can tell I haven't done this in a while. Alright, let's head up and see what we can find. Just need a couple of warp cells, that's all. Just till we get to our next adventure. Ooh, found a pistol too. Not that we need it, but we'll take that. If I can. I think I gotta adjust my muscle sensitivity again. Take another pistol. Yeah, uh, it's been a while since I've done this. Got one warp cell. What else we got? Those are the other things. And let's see what else we have in here. Ooh, stim packs could use those. There's one. And nothing in there. Another clip. But yeah, I might as well take it. I only have the one on me. If I can reach it. There we go. Pistol clips. Why not? Another warp cell. It's only a 60%er, but hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, something I want to check too, because I was noticing that there was different tiers. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they have different tiers of warp cells, but I know they have different tiers of parts, so that's something interesting to keep an eye out for. Maybe we'll find higher tier warp cells that last longer. What is that? Plasma accelerator for the engine. I don't know if we'll need it, but we'll take it anyways. We'll take the stem pack. What is that? A grenade? Sure. Why not? Alright, let's get out of this one. Ooh, a servo motor. Ooh. Can I get an upgrade? Let's see what that actually does. Power consumption by 50%. I like it. Alright. Let's go to the next one. So 
So my outpost is still there. Okay. We have 350k to go. Let's go check these ones out quickly. And I will bring you back once we're, once we're there. That didn't actually take too long. I didn't have to stop recording on that. Ooh, I got it. All right, that's what we got in here. I don't care about the clips. All I really care about is the warp cells right now. I will take that, though. Because we could use them. We don't need them, but we could use them. I'm also grab another one of these, because I think I might be running out of oxygen soon. And I forgot to check the drawers on the other one. Oh, yeah. These drawers don't open, do they? And more rifle rounds. We might as well grab those. You never know when we're going to have a few turrets to deal with. Hacking tool, don't care. What was that? Another hacking tool, don't care. What do we have in here? And we have nothing. Alright, oop. We'll go hit up the last air or derelict. Which is going to be somewhere around here. Where are you? Oh, you're right over here. Right in front of my face. Uh, let's see what we can get in here. I'm checking this and then I'm going to bring the outpost home and then we just got to get an airlock. Ooh, is that a jet jetpack? Could always use another jetpack. Oh, it's a helmet. Uh, I don't care about the helmet. I will take the servo though. Because we are going to need them. I probably said that about a million times already. Uh, sure, well. Actually, what do I have in here? Uh, oxygen. Let's use that. Then we can drop that and grab that one. Okay, what else we got in here? More of those soda cans, another stim pack, another one of those things. And sure, we'll take another gun. Have I got room for grenades? I think so. And if that is it. Yeah, we don't need that helmet. Okay, so I'm going to head back to the ship and I'm going to head back to my crew quarter. Then I'll, then I'll bring you back when we're docking them both together. So I shall, sh I shall see you shortly. Okay, here we are, home sweet home. Uh, I'm really glad I was recording everything, so at least I know where everything, what what derelict was by, because I always forget to look at the numbers. Like even trying to get my crew quarter, I would have never guessed that number. I'm not worried about finding my airlock because whatever, airlock's an airlock. So what I'm going to do, because I've been at this for a couple of hours now and I've actually been wanting to get a, wanted to get, wanted to get this episode up for a little while now. So I'm going to go ahead and dock this and i got to probably going to call the episode here and the next episode we'll go and, uh, we'll go ahead. What do you mean there's no resource inject? Oh yeah, that's right. You don't need them anymore. That's right. They just improve efficiency. So this should actually work. Yes, it does. All right, well, that's good, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this all docked up, and the next episode we'll go we'll go hunt down an airlock. We'll do a little bit of part upgrades since I've got some servos and a resource injector. I might as well find, out, find what we'd be best to use them for. But, anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I thank you all for being patient with the series. I'm not going to let this one go. But, you know, sometimes you just got to take a little break. But with that being said, uh, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.